Hi hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install CSGO on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So this is the 14 inch M1 Pro running macOS Monterey 12.0. And what we're going to do is to install Steam and then install CSGO and I'm going to show you how to launch it correctly. So the first thing we're going to do is to go to store.steampower.com. I'm going to click the green button here and install Steam. Here we're going to click the install Steam button here and it's picked up that we're running the macOS version. Then in our downloads folder, we're going to open up steam.dmg and then we're going to drag the Steam icon into the applications folder and then within the applications folder we're going to go ahead and double click steam so i've logged into my steam account automatically if you don't have a steam account you can create one for free and then you need to buy csgo i'm assuming you've already purchased csgo but if you haven't you can just go to the store page and then type in csgo and then you'll be able to purchase and then download the software so i'm going to go to my library and then type in csgo here on the top left and then we're going to select our game and then click install and then I'm gonna click next and then install this game locally. Once I've initiated the download, I'm just gonna wait for this download to complete. This is a 12.2 gigabyte file, so wait for that to complete before we move on to the next step. So now that CSGO has completed its download, I'm gonna show you how to launch it correctly. So I'm gonna show you an example of what happens when you press play. Here we're gonna enable the accessibility features by opening up system preferences. It's gonna type in a password and then enable this. I'm going to close this and then we have an error message. I'm going to click ignore. So the first time it launches, it might take a bit of time for this to actually get going. So I'll click close here. So one of the main issues is that when we launch the game, we can't actually change any of the settings because when we go to the settings menu here, and let's say we want to change the aspect ratio or the resolution, we can't get to the bottom of the screen to be able to press the accept button. So what we want to do is to close down the game and then we're going to go to our library. And basically when you've selected this, you want to go to the cog here and click properties here. And then we're going to go ahead and adjust some launch options. So I'm going to leave this code in the description. Basically we want to type in dash W 800 dash H 600 dash refresh 60. So basically what this will do is that it'll open the game window in an 800 by 600 window and then we're going to be able to see the bottom of the window. So I'm going to close this and then press play again. And now we have a smaller 800 by 600 window and now when I go to settings I can actually change the video settings and then I'm going to change this to 16 by 10. I'm going to change this to full screen and then change this to 1920 by 1200 and when I click apply it's going to basically full screen this correctly. I've actually selected 16 by 10 and it's hidden the notch as well. So this is the kind of the correct settings for this. What I'd also advise people would do to change, I'd also advise that people change the graphic settings to something much lower so that it's a bit more optimized because this is an OpenGL game and the version of OpenGL that comes with macOS Montreal is really old and it's gonna run quite slowly. So you're gonna to want to reduce the settings where possible. So I've loaded up a game. I'm just going to show you how it performs. This is the M1 Pro 14 inch base model and it seems to be running fine. It's going at 83, 84 FPS and uh, we can easily play this game. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.